Hey guys, Joe here. Welcome back to my channel and today we are back with more PCM 2020 gameplay and in this one I wanted to give Parry Roubaix a go because of course the Hell of the North is one of the most difficult races on the calendar if not the most difficult and as we know the AI has been enhanced or improved especially made more aggressive in this year's game so I wanted to give the Hell of the North a go with this new AI. So then the Hell of the North does get underway and as you can see we will be trying to take Jasper Stuyven and Trek Segafredo to victory in this one. Uh, some poor race days for guys like Toons and Pedersen but Stuyven on a nice plus one so maybe we have a chance. If we look at the roads plenty of riders trying to join the breakaway already. So we're about 40k into this one and you can see six riders have about one minute up the roads. You can see the guys right here. I have noticed one change that I really do like. So if we look in map, you can now see all of the cobbled sectors. And of course, if you zoom in, you can get a better look, see their difficulty and their name ahead of time. And I really like this addition. So then here we go, we hit the first cobbles of this Paris-Roubaix and the breakaway really haven't been allowed much of a lead at all by this peloton which is a pretty big surprise to me. Uh, you can see they've kept this lead below two minutes. So then we have just had a few attacks by Van Gestel and Vandenberg. I'm going to try and join them up the roads with Kearns of Court right here. Any other attacks? Not just yet, it seems, so hopefully these three riders can join up with that breakaway. Okay then, we're working with Vandenberg at the moment, Van Gestel further up the roads, but behind we do have more attacks. Kra Anderson, 76 Cobble, Kukulair, Hofstetter, and that is a surprise that Kra Anderson has been allowed up the road to me. So with Kuntercourt up the road in this group, we don't need to do any pacing back in this peloton. We will see what the tempo is like set by the other teams. So we are now coming onto this four star sector and more attacks are taking place. I can see Sonny Corbrelli is thinking about it. So is Gianni Moscon and I will follow with Alex Kirsch, which uh, does mean we now do have two riders ahead of the peloton for now. Let's take position with these guys up Stoyven maybe to 75. I think Lipins is done, but hopefully we can bridge with Kirsch as well. And so as you can see, these attacks have exploded the race because we do have some splits. 48 riders are ahead for now, up to 66 with a couple of guys coming back on. And this gap isn't big, it will be shut down. However, onto the Arenberg, up our main guys maybe a little bit to maybe 87. Make sure we're staying to the front of this group as well because the tempo obviously is going to be very, very hard indeed. So following the treacherous Arenberg, we do have just 52 riders in this peloton. Unsure if this group could come, uh, come back on. Certainly is a possibility. As we have a fall from the breakaway, Dillier and Corbrelli do go down and hopefully Kirsch and these guys can bridge this gap. Still 50 seconds to bridge uh, with a few guys struggling. It would seem Court Nielsen looking very tired. Oh my, Alex Kirsch has just punctured. That was the worst timing possible. As we just came onto this cobbled sector, we were literally about to bridge that gap to this group. These guys were done and we have pretty much caught them. Oh my, so Kirsch has wasted a bunch of energy back in the peloton and back to square one as a pretty big fool, including Christoph, Hershey, Langevald taking place behind and down to about 40 riders in this peloton. So you guys can see just how hard the tempo is right now and we do need to make sure we're staying further to the front. I mean, Pedersen and Kirsch really struggling as you can see. Stuyven still looks pretty good down to about 33 riders in this group. On the front, it is Mike Tunison doing a fantastic job. Kuntercourt still up the roads, but just 30 seconds ahead now. And so suddenly Kirsch is gone. Toons is gone as well. And it does seem that Mads Pedersen will go out the back as well. Kuntercourt is done. He can now drop back to protect Jasper Stuyven with Pedersen out the back. 20 riders in this group. Um, and there you go, it's a big move already. I spoke about the aggressive AI and Peter Sagan on the attack at this stage in the race, joining up 
with that breakaway. We will sit in and hopefully these guys will bring him in and they do ahead of this next cobbled sector. So the tempo remains very high and the aggressiveness does from Peter Sagan as well. And he has got a gap on this group again. And Kukala, I do believe, is pacing. Whilst there are still domestiques in this group who are capable of working pretty hard, it does seem that an attack isn't quite going to work for Peter Sagan. However, we're getting blocked off a little bit. Let's come to the middle, try and join these guys at the front as Sagan is now caught, but the pace remains very high. Greg Van Avmat setting a super high tempo, trying to drop some of the weaker cobblers on this sector. Let's take position again, down to about 16 riders in this group right now. And there you go, out of this sector, we do have another attack, this time by Oli Narsen. And I have missed this move with Jasper Soivan. I'm gonna make a big, big effort trying to join this group up the roads. Oh my, we completely missed that move. Let's try and relay with these guys. And luckily, Van Aert does have something left to bring these guys in. So 12 riders now at the front, back up to 15 as a row and Hausler join up with this front group. And here we go, another attack. Van Aert, Stefan Kung on the attack. Need to try and stay with them with Jasper Stuyven, but it does seem they are very, very strong right now. So instead, I will take position in this group. We're down to 10 riders right here, maybe nine as Nicky Terpstra out the back. Strong rides by Luke Rowe to stay here. And we do need to work together and try and bring those guys in. So 41k to go. And the more I think about this, this move up the road is very, very dangerous indeed. And you can see Eve Lampart trying to pace. It does seem I thought he was trying to attack. If someone attacks from this group, I do need to follow because that group up the road certainly do have a lot of power. Oh my, so you can see the domestiques right here do seem completely done. Lampart doesn't seem able to work. Oh man, I really don't know what to do. I don't want to drag these guys along. So I will stay sat up in this group for now. And the next cobbled sector is only two stars. So their lead has now risen to over a minute right now. And we're not really working together very well at all in this group. However, Nils Pollitt does now come to the front. I'm relaying on 65. I don't really want to go any harder than that. And I do believe onto these next cobbled sectors, we will need to try something. Here we come then onto the next cobbled sector. Lampert does look pretty much done. And I come on very, very fast indeed. Jasper saw even a very strong attack and we will drop Lampert pretty much straight away along with Luke Rowe trying to bridge this gap to these guys up the roads and we are still solo. So I'll try and pace on 80. We have about 10 seconds to seven riders behind who are struggling to stay with us, it would seem. So four star sect right now, I'm pushing it straight up to 95 with Stoiver, maybe too fast. We'll drop this to 90. And I did really hope we could catch these guys by the end of this sector, but you can see that is not gonna happen. We're gonna have to drop this to pretty much 60. And I think our chances of winning this Paris Bay are now pretty much done. This five star sector, can we push it? We just don't have anything left in the legs. However, we do have 40 seconds on this group behind. Stoyven punctures with 15 seconds to go. So we're not even gonna be able to challenge for a top five, it seems. Can we get back in to this group right now? I don't think so. And we're looking at probably a top 15 in this stage. But will those guys at the front hold on? It does seem so, as Betio and Van Aert have attacked Stefan Kung and two men do go clear. So then it's pretty much spectator mode for the remainder of this race and the aggressive AI is going to work, it seems, and Betio and Woot Van Aert will win this Paris-Roubaix bar a miracle, it would seem. I think Kung is gone. Don't think anyone from this group is gonna be strong enough today either. So this group behind of seven riders just don't seem strong enough, and I'm pretty sure on previous PCMs, you rarely saw two men go into the velodrome together. Usually it was a much bigger, uh, bigger group. At least that's what I found. And they still have 45 seconds on this group behind. So Betio or Van Aert will take this one. Probably with Van Aert considering his sprint stats. So 2k to go, will Betiol surprise us right here? Let's see, Andrea Betiol on Wout Van Aert's wheel. 
seems very, very tired. Uh, very tired. Into the final, they both seem tired. Oh my! Alberto Bessiel takes it past Wout van Aert, who beats Sagan. Then we have Stebar and Narsen and this group together, and that is a massive surprise. Bessiel just sat on Wout van Aert and took it in the end. I'll be honest with you guys, I hope something like this would happen in this race. We did have a solo winner in the end. Really, it was Van Aert and Bessiel going to the line together. And Bessiel had something left for a sprint. And this shows just how important it is in PCM20 to make sure you stay alert at all times in the one-day classics because small moves can go to the line. I stayed sat in this second group, which on paper has more power. The likes of Gilbert, Narsen, Stebar, Sagan, GVA, Pollitt, all in this group. However, we were just unable to catch those guys up the roads um, and it proved costly in the end not joining that group up the roads. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick playthrough of Paris-Roubaix. I really enjoy the one-day classics in this year's game, as I've mentioned already. Hope you guys do too. Let me know what you think of the game so far in the comments below. Anyhow, drop a like on the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe to my channel if you are new. And I will see you guys in the next one.